How's it going, everybody? This is Ruby, and this is episode 100 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mass Fabricator from Industrial Craft 2. So, the basic user interface for this machine is over here. You have your progress percentage, and this is how much the uh, progress bar is until it produces uh, more UU matter. And in here is your internal storage, and right here is where you can actually fill stuff up out of the UU matter tank. And over here is for your upgrades. Uh, for example, the main thing that you really need for this, if you don't want to manu uh, manually get all the stuff out of it, is you actually need the fuel ejector upgrade. And you can just put that in there and you can actually get liquid out of it straight like that. So the uh, recipe for this is two advanced machine casings, four glowstone, two advanced circuits, and a lapatron crystal, which is of course six lapis, uh, two advanced circuits, and an energy crystal. To power this machine, it's uh, pretty complex, so uh, here I have a high voltage solar array, MFE, and then if we put down some glass fiber cable, you can see the progress is going to go start is going to start going up, and it's going to start using scrap boxes. So the scrap boxes will actually give you an amplifier so that it will actually produce quicker. So if I take all of these out, and as soon as this hits zero, and if we <laughs> tell it to stop putting stuff in there, <laughs> um, it will actually slow down. It's way, 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 way much slower uh, if you don't have scrap boxes in there. And of course, scrap boxes are just nine scrap uh, in a uh, crafting grid, uh, and you you get scrap from recyclers. There's no recipe, uh, but if you just use the recycler, um, you can get scrap pretty easily. So once the amplifier runs out, uh, it's not run out yet, but um, it will actually produce a lot slower. So if you give it scrap boxes to use it'll actually progress a lot quicker as you can see it's going up a percentage every couple seconds when before it wasn't exactly going up that fast and uh, if you have the fuel ejector upgrade once this thing actually produces some UU matter it'll actually output it to the to the first valid side of of, uh, of liquid output and it could go over here into this tank so one last thing I want to cover um, that we didn't really talk about here is that the mass fabricator can only take up to 512 uh, EU per tick. So for example, the MFE is a perfect machine for it, and it can always output 512 for you. So that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Uh, don't forget this machine is quite the energy hog, and it doesn't produce that much UU matter at a time, so uh, you have to wait a little while. And if you want to see uh, this machine and a lot of these other new machines we're going to be covering here soon in progress, you can check out some of my LP episodes, uh, specifically ones titled Swimming in UU Matter, <laughs> appropriately. And uh, we cover all of the UU pr matter uh, matter production systems and kind of how to basically set up everything even if you're not using EU as your first power source so uh, feel free to check that out I'll put an annotation on the screen if I remember to but uh, yeah if you have any questions definitely leave them down in the comments below I'll be happy to answer your question if this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it or rain would be very much appreciated and subscribe as always have new Feed the Beast videos coming out almost every other day if not every day thank you